What's going on guys, Real Tough Gmail here back with another Java tutorial and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be working with the if statement. Now if statement is very important in coding because it actually allows you to skip a certain part of your code that you don't want to be executed, which is very important. So yeah, I'm just going to delete everything from our last tutorial and start off by creating an integer called number of people. And I'm going to equal this to 10. So there are 10 people, right? Now, basically, what I want to do is I want to say it, if um, the number of people variable here, so if there are more than 30 people, then I want to display something. Um, or if there is, you know, less than 30 people, then we'll display that. So it's kind of like the if else statement that I'll be showing you guys. So basically, what you do is you just say if, then you do parentheses, and you put in your, your uh, variable number of people. And here is going to be what we'll say is less than 50. And then you're going to put curly braces. Okay, so basically what we're saying is if this variable is less than 50, then we're going to display any well, whatever's in here. So system dot out dot print line, which you should know how to do this. There is, or I'm sorry, no, we'll, we'll say um, number of people is less than 50. There we go. And if we run it, as you can see in console here, it says number of people is less than 50. But now let's say we bring this number up to 60. And we run it, nothing happens here because it skips over this code because the number of people variable is not less than 50. Would it now? we can change this to say greater than so if number of people is greater than 50 then we'll just say greater we run it number of people is greater than 50 and then we'll go back to say 10 and it won't display anything so that is very very helpful but now let's say um, we put this to 50 right and we'll, and we'll bring this back to less than I'll just say less and we run it as you can see, it still doesn't say anything because the number of people is 50. Um, it's not less than 50. It is 50, it's not less than 50. So if all we have to do is put less than or equal to 50. We run it, now the number of people is less than 50, which is not true, it's actually equal to it. But now let's say you want, and you can do the same thing with greater than, so greater than equal to 50. Let's say you wanted to say if number of people equals 50. Now this actually doesn't work. <laughs> um, now, there's a reason for it because what we're saying is if number of people equal 50. So in Java terms, this means no, we're setting the number of people to 50. So in order for it to check if there's uh, if it's equal to 50, we need to put two equal signs. <clears throat> so then we can just say is 50, and we'll run it. And number of people is 50. If we put 51 doesn't do anything if we put 49 doesn't do anything this makes it so if it is equal than 50 boom so here's a question if we didn't want if, if number of people didn't equal 50 but we wanted um, so if if no all right here let me just put less than just so this kind of makes a little bit more sense I'll bring this back to 10 and I'll just say 5 um, and then we'll just say number of people is less than, oh my God, if I can type, less than 10. Run this, number of people is less than 10. But now let's say that we put another system.out.println, so system.out.println, um, hi. So basically, since this is not in the if statement, this is gonna be executed no matter what. So no matter if this, if this number of people is 50, it's still always going to execute this high. So basically, what we want to say is if the number of people is less than 10, display this. But what if it's greater than 10? Uh, so in other words, it does not, this does not get executed. Well, you could easily say, just make another if statement. If number of people, people is greater than 10. <clears throat> then we'll just say this. 
we run it less than 10 if we run this at 11 um, it says high so number of people is greater than 10 right we could easily do this but in some cases you're not actually going to want want to do this and there's a very there's a much easier way of doing it and it's called the else statement so it kind of works like this if the number of people is less than 10 do this if it's not so else curly braces and you can i'm just going to copy this put it down here is greater so instead of writing out a whole nother uh if statement it's just going to say this it's going to execute this first if number of people is less than 10 then it's going to print this out and it's not going to execute this but or else if it if it does not less than 10 we're going to not execute this but this so in other words if i played this now we would see the greater than so number of people is greater than 10 um, because we need the less than equal to be, because we are setting number of people to equal 10 uh, with this statement here it's not less than 10 it's actually greater than 10 because less than 10 would be 9 down so you could say less than equal to and then it would say the first one so number of people is less than 10 so that kind of works like that and you can have um, this can be done for a lot of things. So say like you had a password, right? Let, let's say we had a password that said the password was one, two, three. And we could say we could have um, something type in. And if that password is not one, two, three, or if it is one, two, three, then we could have it in here. If it's not, then we'll go down to here. So I'm, I'm actually probably going to do that next tutorial, show you guys a little bit of input. But until then, Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try and get this up to 15 likes, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.